In this example, we're going to look to do this matrix multiplication here. And it looks like our first matrix is a 2 by 2 square matrix. And we're going to multiply that by a 2 by 4 matrix. So before we can get right into the multiplication, let's go ahead and take a quick inspection of the dimensions of each one of these matrices just to make sure that the matrix multiplication is in fact defined. So in this first matrix, it looks like two rows, two columns. We said that's a square matrix, so this is going to be two by two. And the second matrix, two rows and four columns, so this is a two by four. So remember, in order for the matrix multiplication to be defined, these inner dimensions, or the number of columns here and the number of rows here, must be the same. And in fact, they are. They're both two. So that means the dimensions of the product matrix will be, well, two rows and four columns. So the product matrix will be a two by four matrix. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the multiplication now, since now we know we can do it, and we also know the dimensions of the product matrix. So the way I'm going to do this algorithm, I'm going to rewrite this first matrix down here, and I'll just do it, can't see it quite yet. There we go, right there. And I'm going to take this second matrix, and I'm going to just raise him up a little bit, and I'll put him right here. And we're going to make sure we have plenty of horizontal space here to work. So we have a negative 1, 5, 3, negative 3, 6, 0, and negative 2, 2. Okay, right there. So I think we're ready to go. So why I like to do it this way is because it is a fantastic visual representation of this multiplication process. So remember, we're going to come across the rows and down the columns, and we're going to take the first uh, entry in this row and the first entry in this column, and we're going to multiply them, and then we're going to move on to so the second entry in this row and the second entry in this column and multiply them. And we'll have this series of multiplications here, and then we're going to add all those products, and that will be each one of these entries. So let's go ahead and step through that. So negative 4 times negative 1 will be positive 4, and then 7 times 5 is 35, and we're going to add those together. So this entry in the first row and first column used the first row here and the first column here, and they lined up very nicely. So let's go ahead and move down to the second row and first column. So this entry will go here, and we'll be multiplying across the row and down the column. So 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And we're just going to go ahead and add those two together. Okay, so let's move on. So we're done with the first column, so let's go ahead and now move on to the second column. So right here, this will be row 1, column 2, so row 1, column 2. So negative 4 times 3 will be negative 12, and 7 times negative 3 is a negative 21. Okay, row 2, column 2, 5 times 3 is 15, and negative 2 and negative uh, 3 will be positive 6. So you kind of see here the nice pattern, and so let's just go ahead and finish up uh, column 3 and column 4. So it'll be, it looks like negative 24 plus 0, because we have multiplication by 0. And then 5 times 6 is 30, and then once again plus 0. And then finally, the row in this last column, so it looks like 8 plus 14, and finally negative 10 minus 4. So that's just the work there. So we can go ahead and finish up our product matrix here by going ahead and doing this addition and subtraction. Okay, so this first guy looks like 39 negative 15, negative 33, 21, negative 24, and 30. Those zeros are easy. And then 22 and negative 14. So here then will be the product matrix. When we take this initial 2 by 2 matrix and multiply them by this 2 by 4 matrix, we first saw that the matrix multiplication was indeed defined because these inner dimensions were equal. We saw the product matrix would be 2 by 4, which in fact it is 2 by 4. And we went ahead and did our multiplication algorithm, and here again is that product matrix.